Hey everybody, Zach Copes here with Klein May Realty and the Harrisonburg Homes team, your realtor in Harrisonburg and Rockingham County, Virginia. Well, today we're here at 326 Claremont Avenue on the east side of the county in the premier subdivision of Crossroads Farm. We're going to take a look at this beautiful elite home and give you guys a tour today. If this is your first time here, thanks for joining us, or if you've been a subscriber to this channel for a while, we appreciate you coming back. Please give us a like, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you get alerted every time a new video comes out. All right, with that being said, enjoy the tour. Welcome to beautiful 326 Claremont Avenue in Crossroads Farm Subdivision. This subdivision is located just east of Harrisonburg. That's Massanutten's Peak right there that you can see. And you guys, this whole neighborhood has just beautiful landscaping. You can see just in front of every house here, this one in particular. I love the mix of the stones and the mulch, flowers, bushes, just beautiful. And as we enter, you have this awesome grand foyer here that allows you to see all the way through the home into the backyard. Awesome chandelier right there and balcony above. As you can see, we have little touches like just really beautiful crown molding and trim work throughout this house. There we're looking at the dining room with loads of natural light coming in from those arched windows reflecting off of the oak hardwood flooring. Another good look at this foyer here. Really cool chandelier and love that window above. This room here could be an office, formal sitting or living room, whatever you want it to be. And don't miss the recessed lighting throughout the house, you guys. Here's the staircase right in the middle of the home. Really cool features, love the trim mark with the white contrasting against those black iron rods. There you can see the kitchen on the left and the main family room on the right with fireplace and chandelier. Let's check out the kitchen first. All right, beautiful granite countertops in here. Very large eat-in kitchen space, plenty of room to sit at that island, as well as a table over there near the windows. Stainless steel appliances, you guys, and propane services this house, so you have a gas stove. Let's get up close and personal here and take a closer look at some of these features. We've got a wine cabinet above the fridge right there. All white cabinetry throughout. Take a look at this backsplash, you guys. Just beautiful. The range hood is even built behind the cabinet. Here's a closer look at the sink. Let's head over into the family room. And don't miss these columns, you guys. They are at the entrance to each of the wider openings throughout the house. And wow, take a look at that coffered ceiling with that really gorgeous chandelier. I don't think I've ever seen a chandelier quite like that one. Really cool. And yeah, opens up to the hallway upstairs. And there's just the grand window opening into the backyard with a gas fireplace there on your right. And while we're here, let's go ahead and take a look at the back. Really big deck. I think it's about 16 feet and large backyard slopes up slightly, but there's a golf course hole just behind the backyard up there on the hill. All right, let's head upstairs. And up here, we're gonna find several bedrooms. Let's head to the master first of all. Very large master here with a tray, ceiling, recessed lighting, ceiling fan, carpet on the floor. And that's like a Berber style carpet, but is very soft under my feet. Now a bed could go on two different walls in this room. 
although it is set up to go on that wall we just passed. And what a master suite bathroom here, you guys. Wow, double vanity, beautiful contemporary lighting. Love the black and white ceramic tile under our feet. Nicely framed shower there as well as a soaking tub and it is jetted so it's like a jacuzzi style there with privacy glass and here is just the water closet for the toilet and then you're not going to believe this huge walk-in closet probably better known as like a dressing room so you've got the shelving on the walls for all your hangers and shoes and whatever else even the window wells are deep, so you could set there to put shoes on. And you've got drawers built in as well for whatever you want to put in those. Just an awesome master suite. And we've got the convenience of the laundry room right there. I mean, top of the steps, right next to the master. Nice washer and dryer in there. And enough room for shelving if you wanted to install some later. And this is gonna be the second largest bedroom here. This is at the top left of the steps. And faces east. Pretty standard bedroom. Same carpeting in here, just a different paint color. And a nice step-in closet there, with a little bit extra room. Across the hall from that, we have a Jack and Jill style bath. So this is vanity number one, and you guys can see all the extra space on that countertop and loads of storage underneath walk on through the shower and molded tub is right between everything and there are a couple linen closets on the right which you can't see but those are there too there's the toilet and then on the end here we have the other vanity which is the same size as the first one pretty cool hall bath Adjacent to that is another bedroom, bedroom number three. And this is a pretty much a standard size bedroom, just a little smaller than the others with a step-in closet, still plenty of room in there. And we'll head back out into the hall so you can get a view from the hall. Such a cool railing. And there's a view of the foyer from above. And bedroom number four right here. And a view into the family room. This is about the same size as the other bedroom we are in. One thing I love about all these bedrooms, you guys, is they each have a ceiling fan. And this one, you're going to get a good view of Massanutten Mountain right there and the rest of the community. So the front of the house is going to get light in the morning and the back of the house will get just that beautiful evening light that we get here in the valley. And that's the upstairs. So we'll head back down now and show you a couple things right across the way from the staircase. Oh yeah, I wanted to point out just these light fixtures, really cool. I mean, they all kind of match each other with this like curved, thin framework on them. They're very unique, but I just love how all those little touches in this house match each other. Here's a coat closet for the entryway and the half bath on the main level here. Not often you see a black toilet, but there's one. And I think it just matches the motif of the home really well.
All right, now let's take a look at the garage here. We have a large, like really an extra large garage on this home. And this is gonna be on the left side of the home as you're facing the front. So we've got a triple car or a three car garage here with plenty of extra room for storage. So a 16 foot door there for two cars to enter and then a separate door for a third vehicle. So lawnmowers, vehicles, belongings, whatever you want in there. And then did I mention there's a basement? Cause that's where we're going next. Oh yeah, and I didn't want you guys to miss this just beautiful cabinet here, this built-in cabinet. There are lights in the top that turn on, but let's head down into the basement because there's a lot more house to see down here. All right, as we head down, we're gonna come into a den or maybe a, just a second family room and that has a gas fireplace in it and also walks out to the side of the house. But over here we have a, another bedroom suite with its own bathroom. So this is open to the hall as well as the bedroom itself. So a single vanity sink there, ceramic tile, toilet, and molded tub shower combo unit with some storage behind. And here you can see the doorway into the bedroom. So we'll just head right in there. Carpet underneath with a concrete slab under that. And it's a pretty generous sized room, you guys, um, especially with the size of the closet in there. Still have a ceiling fan down here, recessed lighting as well. And that's a step-in closet. It's sort of like a normal closet, just turned long ways. So we'll take a closer look at this fireplace here. Cool tile stonework around the side. And then just a glass plated fireplace insert there. Check this out. We've got a whole second kitchen down here. Now it's much smaller. I mean, we don't have an oven, <laughs> so, uh, but there is room there for a dishwasher. If someone wanted to put one in that open slot. So I guess we're really looking more at like a kitchenette here, the way it's set up currently, but could certainly service guests or people who are staying overnight, even a rental space would work really well, especially with that separate entrance to the outside. Closet under the steps, another room here, could be used as a bedroom, but there is no egress for um, exiting in an emergency, but definitely has a nice closet and plenty of room for a bed. Could also just be suited as a craft room, storage, sewing room can get creative with that and then we have just this is a large space underneath the kitchen and then this room is underneath the garage and is set up to be a theater room so just kind of a long and narrow room but about the same width as the garage and depth as the garage so just a kind of again a whatever you want space playroom for the kids romper room is what we'd call it in my house <laughs> or use it as it's set up. It's got the surround sound in the walls, wires coming out of the ceiling for a projector. So it's ready for you. All right, we'll head back upstairs and take a look at that deck and get some views from the outside. Man, you guys, what a beautiful day we have right here, but the landscaping is just beautiful. We got some nice tall grasses here kind of concealing that heat pump. And this deck is just enormous. I mean, it's it's like a 16 by 20 deck out here, just really, really big um, with normal five quarter wood boards that have been freshly stained. And then just a little concealed area there, which would be perfect for a hot tub or spa. Even the views behind are just awesome. You've got the golf course hole between you and those homes above. So there's no houses that could be built between those homes or anything like that. So the yard has a slight slope upward that I'm walking on here. And you can see the lot ends right about where that fence corner is across, this, across from us there. Here's a good look at the back of the house. 
So you can see there. And then this is the side where the basement comes out. I wanted you to see all this gorgeous stonework here and landscaping. And there's a good view of the chimney there as well for you. We'll head back over to the front here in just a second too. So you can get a good view from down here. Just beautiful. Love the mix of the vinyl and the stone siding. And just in case you've never been here, this is the view from uh, the community above that golf course hole. So I went back a street and just got a really nice, beautiful view from up there on Frederick Road. All in the beautiful Crossroads Farm community. Okay, that's going to do it for this tour, you guys. Thanks for joining me today on this beautiful afternoon here in Crossroads Farm. Hey, if you want more content like this, please hit that subscribe button, click the like and the notification bell so you can get alerted. And again, my name is Zach Copes, and I'm here to answer any questions that you have about real estate here in Harrisonburg and Rockingham County, Virginia. I'm with Klein May Realty and the Harrisonburg Homes team. And always remember, it's your move. <laughs>